The Sun is a G-type main-sequence star located at the center of our solar system. Composed mainly of hydrogen and helium, the Sun's mass constitutes about 99.86% of the total mass of the solar system. Today we are delving deep into the Sun and its associated terminologies in detail. Let's start with the terminology related to the structure of the Sun. The core is the innermost part of the Sun, where nuclear fusion occurs and temperatures reach about 15 million degrees Celsius here. The Sun's core formed around 4.6 billion years ago from a molecular cloud composed primarily of hydrogen and helium. Under the influence of gravity, the cloud collapsed, increasing the pressure and temperature at the center. The core remains predominantly composed of hydrogen, about 75%, and helium, about 24%, with trace amounts of heavier elements. In the core, Hydrogen nuclei fuse to form helium, releasing vast amounts of energy in the form of light and heat. Surrounding the core, the radiative zone extends to about 70% of the sun's radius. Here, energy produced in the core is transported outward by radiation. Photons are absorbed and re-emitted numerous times, taking thousands to millions of years to pass through this layer. The outermost layer of the Sun's interior, the convective zone, extends from the radiative zone to the surface. In this zone, energy is transported by convection currents. Hot plasma rises to the surface, cools and sinks back down, creating a cycle that helps transport energy outward. The photosphere is the visible surface of the Sun, where light is emitted and it has an average temperature of about 5,500 degrees Celsius. The photosphere appears granulated due to convection currents, forming patterns known as granules. Above the photosphere lies the chromosphere, which appears as a reddish glow during solar eclipses, and this layer has temperatures ranging from 4,000 to 25,000 degrees Celsius. Features like spicules and filaments are commonly observed in the chromosphere. The corona is the sun's outermost atmospheric layer, extending millions of kilometers into space. It is visible during total solar eclipses as a white halo. Despite being much less dense than the lower layers, the corona is incredibly hot, with temperatures between 1 to 3 million degrees Celsius. The heating mechanisms are not fully understood, but are thought to involve magnetic waves and reconnection processes. The solar cycle is an approximately 11-year cycle marked by variations in sunspot numbers and solar activity. It consists of a solar maximum or high activity and a solar minimum or low activity. The cycle is driven by the Sun's magnetic field, which undergoes a periodic reversal, affecting solar phenomena such as sunspots, flares and CMEs. Sunspots are dark, cooler regions on the photosphere caused by intense magnetic activity. They have temperatures lower than the surrounding areas and can last from days to months. Sunspots follow an approximately 11-year cycle, known as the solar cycle, which influences the sun's activity. Solar flares are sudden bursts of radiation and energy caused by magnetic activity. They occur near sunspots and can release energy equivalent to millions of hydrogen bombs. Solar flares impact space weather and can disrupt satellite communications and power grids on Earth. Prominences are large, bright, loop-shaped structures extending from the sun's surface into the corona. They are composed of plasma and are anchored to the photosphere by magnetic fields. Prominences can last for days to weeks and may erupt, releasing plasma into space. CMEs are significant releases of plasma and magnetic field from the solar corona. When directed towards Earth, CMEs can cause auroras, geomagnetic storms, affecting satellites, power grids and communication systems. CMEs often accompany solar flares but can occur independently. Granulation refers to the grainy appearance of the photosphere. 
caused by convection currents, and these currents are formed as hot plasma rises, cools at the surface, and sinks back down. Each granule lasts for about 8 to 20 minutes and is typically around 1,000 kilometers in diameter. The solar wind is a continuous stream of charged particles or plasma emitted from the corona. It travels through the solar system, creating the heliosphere, a bubble-like region of space dominated by the sun's influence. The solar wind interacts with planetary magnetospheres, affecting space weather and auroras on Earth. The heliopause is the boundary where the solar wind is stopped by the interstellar medium, marking the edge of the sun's influence. It is the outer limit of the heliosphere and has been crossed by the Voyager spacecraft, providing valuable data about this boundary. The solar constant is the average amount of solar radiation received per unit area at the top of Earth's atmosphere, approximately 1,360 watts per square meter, and it is crucial for understanding the sun's energy output and its effects on Earth's climate. The solar constant encompasses the entire spectrum of solar radiation, including visible light, ultraviolet light, and infrared radiation. It is calculated by averaging the total solar irradiance over time and accounting for the Earth's average distance from the Sun, known as one astronomical unit. Solar luminosity refers to the total amount of energy emitted by the Sun per unit time. It is a fundamental measure in astrophysics and plays a central role in understanding the Sun's energy output, its stability, and its influence on the solar system and beyond. Solar luminosity is typically expressed in terms of watts, representing the amount of energy emitted per second. The Sun's luminosity is remarkably high, with a value of approximately 3.8x10 circumflex 26 watts, Helioseismology is the study of the Sun's internal structure through the observation of its oscillations. By analyzing wave patterns on the Sun's surface, scientists can infer details about its internal composition, temperature, and dynamics. Auroras, or polar lights, are natural light displays seen in high-latitude regions. They occur when solar wind particles collide with Earth's magnetosphere, exciting atmospheric gases and creating colorful displays known as the northern and southern lights. Sunlight is the spectrum of electromagnetic radiation emitted by the sun, including visible light, ultraviolet light and infrared radiation. This energy is crucial for life on Earth, driving photosynthesis and influencing climate. The Sun's magnetic field is generated by the movement of plasma within its interior. This field influences solar activity, including sunspots, flares and prominences. The solar cycle involves periodic changes in the magnetic field's configuration and intensity. By understanding these terminologies and concepts, we gain a deeper insight into the dynamic and complex nature of our closest star, the Sun. Thank you for staying with us. If you are interested in more videos like this, we encourage you to hit the subscribe button.